everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. And guys, today in this video, we are going to discuss a very important topic of nuclear and elementary particle physics. So here we are going to talk about the selection rules for gamma decay. Now guys, in this topic, like there are different points which we will discuss. And there are great chances that you can expect the questions based on these points in your upcoming exam. So you all need to prepare all these selection rules, all these points and they will surely help you to solve the questions. So now let's start the discussion and guys I hope this video will be helpful for all of you. Also if your friends are preparing for CSI or net physics exam or for gate physics exam or any other similar exams for PSG okay so you can even share this video with all your friends and it will be helpful for them as well and if you are new on this channel what you need to do subscribe the channel click on the bell icon as well after clicking on subscribe written below this video because guys once you will click on the bell icon you will get the notifications for all the new important videos which i will provide you on this channel so now let's quickly start the discussion about all these points so guys, as you can see, there are different types of like selection rules or what kind of uh, radiation we are going to get clear or what exactly we are going to get in this case. So we are going to talk about that. See, electric dipole, that is the type 1. Clear? Now what is the symbol for that? That is important for you because in the exam, sometimes you may get the questions based on these symbols. Clear? Next thing. Now what are the conditions corresponding to these symbols okay, or these types? So we are going to talk about all these points. Basically, if you will look at the previous year questions related to this topic, uh, we are easily able to solve them based on the parity change okay, or with this point. So it's going to be helpful in all ways and most probably all your questions you will easily be able to solve with all these points. Clear? So guys, electric dipole, this is going to be the type, clear, and symbol for this is E1, and change in angular momentum, which will take place, will be 1. Next thing, parity, will it change in this case? So yes, parity will get changed. Next thing, magnetic dipole, okay, that is going to be the type. Now next, symbol for this is M1. So for dipole, symbol is 1, clear. For quadrupole, symbol is 2, like E2 and M2. Then for octopole, it's going to be 3, clear? And then for electric 2 to the power L pole and magnetic 2 to the power L pole, it's just EL and ML, clear? So guys, here you mainly need to focus on change in angular momentum, type and parity, clear everything together. If you will skip any one of them, you may face difficulty in solving the questions. So don't take that kind of chance. So electric and magnetic dipole symbols corresponding to that E1 M1. Change in angular momentum 1 1 for both. Clear? Parity, will it change? So for E1, yes. For M1, no. Clear? Next. For electric quadrupole, we are having the symbol E2. For magnetic quadrupole, it is M2. For both changes, angular momentum is 2. Clear? And for electric quadrupole, parity will not change. But for magnetic quadrupole, parity will get changed. Clear? Next thing. Electric octopole. So what is in this case? And magnetic octopole, the symbols are E3 and M3. And change in angular momentum, the value, that will be 3. Clear? And for E3, the parity will get changed. But for M3, it will not get changed. Clear? Next. Electric 2 to the power L pole. So guys, in this case, EL is the symbol. Similarly, for magnetic case, ML is the symbol. L is in the suffix. And change in angular momentum. We are taking it as L. So we are saying, if this L is even, then no change in parity. If it is odd, then no change in parity in case of magnetic 2 to the power L pole. Clear? Now, to memorize it, it's very simple and easy to memorize this table and all the conditions. What is the trick for that? See, make the column clear. 
first term will be corresponding to dipole, second will be corresponding to uh, that we are having quadrupole, and then next one octopole. Clear? And last one, 2 to the power L pole. Firstly, like write electric, then write magnetic. Clear? Corresponding to these uh, types. Now, next, for change in angular momentum, you can directly write 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, and then next L, L. Clear? Next. So, it's like simple and easy. Then, sequence you need to follow to uh, for the parity change. Will it change? So, yes, no, no, yes, yes, no, and no, no. Clear? Even it will be no, yes, if you will consider the case of even value only. So, if I have written no, if L is even, so yes, if L is odd. No, if L is odd. Yes, if L is even. Clear? So, that's how, guys, I hope each and everything will be clear to all of you now. But still, if there will be any doubt, you can let me know. And in upcoming videos, we will also try to discuss some questions based on these rules. So guys, that's how you can prepare the selection rules for Gamma Decay. And I hope if you have watched this video till the end, everything will be clear to all of you and you will be familiar with the fact how you can easily memorize it. Clear? So draw it or make it just once or twice. And after that, you will find like, yeah, you are having confidence about it. And you can easily make this table and you can easily relate the roots. Done? So thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end. Also guys, now at the end, like I'm going to tell you about the Unacademy Plus subscription. So if somebody is there who just want to get the guidance for the exam preparation, clear? So guys, you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription. It will surely help you in doing the best preparation for the exam by getting the guidance by all the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus for your upcoming exam preparation. So guys, uh, whenever you will take the Unacademy Plus subscription by using the referral code that is Anjali Arora, in which you need to write first a capital and all other alphabets in a small, okay, no space in between. Apply the referral code, use this referral code and get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy Plus subscription amount as well. Also guys, when you will take the Unacademy Plus subscription, what are the benefits you will get? So weekly quizzes, doubt clearing sessions, okay, uh, live classes of important courses, like all the courses going on by all the top educators for your exam preparation, guidance by all the top educators for your exam preparation. Also guys, uh, recordings of the live classes will be available to you after the class so that you will be able to watch it later on as well. Okay, if you have missed the class, you will be able to cover up the things we have discussed during the class. So that's how it will surely be helpful for all of you in doing the best preparation and to take your preparation to the next level. It will help you guys. Clear? So you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription and whenever you will take the subscription, you can use the referral code Anjali Arora. No space in between. Write it, apply it and get the 10% discount in the total Unacademy Plus subscription amount. Thank you very much everyone for, join, uh, for watching this video till the end. Thank you.